Maybe you can hear a bit of the Chicago sound to set the atmosphere right away. I am waiting to be able to make my video. <laughs> Hi, that's San Lo. I am a French artist and uh, this is a series of videos about the Urban Sketcher International Symposium. This year we are in the US in Chicago, isn't it awesome? Uh, that's my first time in North America, so for me that's just uh, wonderful to be able to be here and I am going to try to share with you this uh, stunning uh, discover of uh, the US and of course uh, the incredible atmosphere of the symposium with the sketchers everywhere and the teaching in the workshop and the pleasure of uh, sketching and painting. So thanks for watching, I will, I hope you will like the video. Which is all the stuff that happens with people at the beach. So we, I'm hoping by the end of it, we not only draw people, we, we also draw people doing fun stuff they're doing here. But we'll get there, we'll, we'll get slowly in there. So what I like to do is draw people gesturally. So if you're a portrait drawer or a proportionate one head, two head counting that person, I'm not even going to address that. We're not going there. I want you to draw people that look alive on your face. Because they're moving, they're all moving here, they're doing stuff. And that's sort of the basis of my class, drawing people that look alive and like they're moving. Animated, and so I use a lot of concepts that come from animation. Women, I want you to think of them as verbs, sitting but sitting differently. You can be walking but walking differently. So my verb is walking. So I use a concept called a line of action, very animation, to make them look animated. And I'll talk. I don't even need you to get more detail, don't draw any more than that, but that's... And you're going to say, how's that a convincing figure? I'm going to say, look through my sketchbook. I draw a lot of people, and if you look at many of the sketches I have people in, that's what's in there. There's not... I, I'm drawing people moving. Especially when I draw scenes, here's how I think about it. So. I'm not capturing a photograph which is instant. I'm capturing the idea of being there for half an hour, the experience of being there for half an hour. And what happened in that half hour? The buildings, they stood right there. The trees stood right there. I might add more detail to them. The people, they came and went in my experience. I don't have them sharp. I don't have them so detailed. So it kind of makes sense to my experience. I'm trying to give you reasons and permission to be loose. Because I think most of us think how I draw my buildings must be how I draw my people. But think about it. Think about it in time. And maybe you'll feel you don't have to get so tight and detailed. And maybe that will let you let go of capturing like every plaid check on the shirt and every... You don't have to do that. No buttons on the shirts and all that. For drawing loose and gestural. Hey, I'll, I'll do that for almost every sketch. This has been. Those people are doing stuff, but not, not in very much more detail than this. That's the other reason I asked you to have a brush pen. Because there is no way you can draw detail with it until you're very good at it. So... <laughs> I want you to be loose and gesture. With a person taking a selfie, I'd start right here. And then I go through it and I draw whatever. So 
my gist <laughs> were quite uh, rubbish at first, uh, you know, <laughs> trying to get the movement, catching the pose because it's so quick and the uh, interaction between people and posture, but uh, it was really not so good. But the idea was to make really a lot of them so to practice, practice, practice. So practice, 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 yeah. And when uh, Suhita told me, make them bigger, and suddenly, yeah, I get the feeling of the gesture and of the stroke start to um, appear. So it was uh, way better. Uh, it was, you know, I was able to play with several uh, thickness of lines and a bit of something more dynamic. So yeah, trying to express uh, things with um, my gesture and several kind of, of postures. So once again, a lot of uh, different practice, some uh, uh, maybe better in a movement and some uh, less uh, interesting. And yeah, trying to get a wider movement, I, uh, I realized that uh, maybe some of my gestures, you know, were too, too narrow between the legs and uh, it was a bit of a lack of a dynamic. So um, yeah, turned, and it works quite, uh, quite nice to try to exaggerate the movement and uh, having a, a wider triangle. And uh, yeah, this year I took a few uh, photos with my new Instax of the instructor, the workshop, so it's so fun to have a photo of uh, Suhita in my sketchbook. <laughs> idea was uh, to write a bit of a story in this uh, sticky notes and uh, you know not only to sketch the people but to really tell something so when I saw these uh, these two girls kissing in front of the beam taking a selfie I was thinking oh that's a that's a nice story to tell and something um, something special I almost forgot to, to sketch the beam just out there because when you focus uh, so much on the people and you forget everything so that's good to remember and um, you want to have the, the people but that you need the surrounding to tell the story too and sometimes you, you focus on the surrounding and if we forget the people um, to tell the story so both are obviously really interesting it's really the story of my trip to Italy and I say I took to my kids to Italy and all they did was feed the pigeons. So I had to draw it because, you know, there's fantastic stuff up here, but all they wanted, they shoved the bread in their pockets, went out for the day and fed the pigeons. But it's important to capture that because, you know, my Italy wasn't just looking up at buildings. It was like, guys, look at this stuff, but they'll feed the pigeons. <laughs> so it's important to capture something that reminds you of your particular time there even if it's just something silly that happens around there and then that makes it a personal story as opposed to a postcard you know
I tried to uh, to use uh, the approach, uh, so uh, from the brush pen here, and I'm trying to get it with watercolor, which was quite difficult finally to use a watercolor brush. Uh, it was not the same feeling at all that the brush pen, but it was uh, nice uh, to try. And so I get uh, these uh, sketches once again with watercolor. And I'm quite happy with the dynamic I managed to create in the bin. I think the people are not so good, but uh, the overall feeling is quite here, maybe. And uh, then I finish with this uh, colorful sketch, but not so, so, so happy with it. And here are a few Instax photos of uh, people in front of the bin. Hey, thank you for watching this series of videos about the Urban Sketchers Symposium. Thanks for watching!